Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part 5 and that we'll see exercise 5.4. Simplify the following and express the answer in exponential form. So here you can see the base is the same and this the exponents are different. So what you have to do, you are just going to keep this base same and exponents you are going to add because you know a raised to m into a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n because here there are three you can just keep on adding that will be 3 plus 2 plus 9 which is going to be 7 raised to 14 here is division and you can see the base is the same so a raised to m divided by a raised to n that will be a raised to m minus n so that will be 15 minus 12 which is going to be 8 raised to 3 and they have said you have to keep the answer in the exponential form so the answer is in the exponential form here for this one this is same as a raised to m raised to n which is going to be we are going to multiply it a raised to mn so this is going to be 4 5 is a 20. now here you can see multiplication and here is division and the basis are the same so what will you do first we'll keep we'll go this is the left hand side then this is the right hand side we'll go from left to right so you are going to in multiplication we are going to add the exponents that will be 4 plus 4 and this m is the same first so this is going to be 5 raised to 8 and divided by 5 raised to 2 now again the base is the same so this will be 8 minus 2 so that is going to be because a raised to m divided by a raised to n that will be a raised to and m this one m minus n so this is going to be 5 is to 8 minus 2 so that will be 5 is to 6 again here what you can see the exponents are same so the basis should be multiplied so this will be p into q into r so that will be pqr and this 4 that means this is for this as well as this as well as this one now this is in the bracket so we'll solve the bracket first so that will be a raised to m minus n this is m and this is n so that will be 25 minus 20 this stays the same so this will be 2 raised to 5 into 2 raised to 10 now this is multiplication the basis are same so this you are going to add it so 5 plus 10 which is going to be 15 again here this is the base and these are the exponents and this is division sign so that will be 7 by 2 raised to x minus 3 again this will be 10 raised to 200 divided by 10 raised to this is going to be 90 as it is so now this is division the basis are same so that is going to be 200 minus 90 so that will be 10 raised to 110 again here the bases are same and this is going to be 1 so this will be 9 minus 1 so that will be minus 6 s to 8 so this is now a even number so this we are you are going to write a minus 1 s to 8 and this will be just positive that will be 6 s to 8 so what happens here by this one minus 1 s to 8 means because now this is an even number that is going to be positive 1 and in, into 1 s to 6 s to 8 sorry so that is going to be the answer should be 6 is to 8 so this is important step again here the bases are the same so you are going to add it so 99 plus 98 plus 3 which is going to be 200 a raised to 200 now here anything raised to 0 a raised to 0 is going to be 1 so this a can be any number so that is always going to be 1 so this is going to be 1 this is going to be 1 and this is going to be 1 so 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is going to be 3 now this one 1 minus 1 and this is going to be 1 plus 1 so 1 minus 1 means it is going to be 0 and this will be 1 plus 1 that is going to be 2 so 0 into 2 which is going to be 0 is it true that 2 raised to 3 into 3 raised to 2 is equal to 6 raised to 5 if not why so now you can see here where this is the left hand side and this is the right hand side so now what when you solve this part so that will be 2 raised to 3 means 2 into 2 into 2 which is going to be 8 and 3 raised to 2 means that is going to be 9 so this is going to be 72 and when you take 6 raised to 5 the right hand side it is going to be 7 7 
76. So 72 is not equal to 7776. So you can say no since because they have asked why. So this is the reason. Express the numerator and denominator of each of the following as a product of powers of prime numbers and then simplify. So for this one you can write here 2 into 3 raised to 5. This will be same. This is going to be the same. So now this is going to be 2 raised to 5 into 3 raised to 5. And this the same. So now what will you do? You will take this part. So this is a raised to m divided by a raised to n. That will be a raised to m minus n. So that will be 2 raised to 5 minus 3. This is multiplication. When you take this part, that is going to be 3 raised to 5 minus 4. So that will be 2 raised to 2 into this 3. So this is going to be 4 into 3, which is going to be 12. So for this one, you are going to write here, when you factorize this, that will be 2 4s are, 2 2s are, and 2 1s are, so 2 cube. So this is going to be 3 square raised to 2 into this part is going to be 2 into 3 raised to 3. For this 12, it is going to be 2 6s are, 2 3s are, and 3 1s are, so 2 into 2 into 3 raised to 2. And this is going to be 3 raised to 5. So this will be here. For this one, you are going to multiply it. So that is going to be 4, 3 raised to 4. For this one, 2 raised to 3 into 3 raised to 3. So now here, for this, 2 raised to 2 into 2 raised to 2 into 3 raised to 2. And this is the same. So now what you can see, this 2 and 2 you will take together. So that will be 2 raised to 3 into 2 raised to 3, which is going to be 2 raised to 3 plus 3. That is going to be three, 2 raised to 6. When you take this part and this part, so 3 raised to 4 into 3 raised to 3. So that is going to be 4 plus 3. So that will be 3 raised to 7. Again, when you take this and this one, so 2 raised to 2 into 2 raised to 2. So that is going to be 2 raised to 2 plus 2, which is going to be 2 raised to 4. And for this and this is going to be 3 raised to 2 into 3 raised to 5. So which is going to be 3 raised to 2 plus 5, that is going to be 3 raised to 7. So this and this gets cancelled, you will get 1. So this part is going to be 2 raised to 6 minus 4, which is going to be 2 raised to 2, which is 4. Now for this one, you will write here 2 into 3 raised to 6. For this part, you will write here 2 into 5 raised to 3, and this is going to be 5. For this 15, you will write here 3 into 5 raised to 4, and for this one, you will write here 2 raised to 3 raised to 3, because 8 will be 2 into 2 into 3. So here will be 2 raised to 3 into 3 raised to 6. This is going to be 2 raised to 3 into 5 raised to 3 into 5. For this one, it is going to be 3 raised to 4 into 5 raised to 4. And this is going to be 2 raised to 9. So now when you take this and this part, so that is going to be 6 plus 3, which is going to be 2 raised to 9. Here, this will be as it is, 5 and 5. So here will be 1. So that is going to be 3 raised to so 5 is to 4. Now here, we'll take here because 2 is first. So we'll start with 2 is to 9. This same only we have rearranged 3 is to 4. And this is 5 is to 4 because all this multiplication. So we can easily rearrange it. So this is going to be 1. Again, this is going to be 1. So now remains is just this part. So that will be 3 is to 6 minus 4 because it is division. So which will be 3 is to 2. So 3 into 3, that is going to be. 9. Now for this one, this as it is, for this one we can write 2 into 5 and the bracket is important because this 5 is for both of them. For this one we can write 5 is to 2, this 5 is to 7 as it is. Again for 6 we can write 2 into 3 and the bracket is important, here is to 5. So this is the same, for this one we write 2 is to 5 into 5 is to 5. This is the same, this is the same, 2 is to 5 into 3 is to 5. So now we will take here 2 here, this is 2. Now for 3, this is alone, so we'll take here. But 5 is 2, 5 into 5 is to 2. It means you are going to add the exponents, so 5 is to 7. Again, this one, we have rearranged 2 first, then 3, then 5. So this also gets cancelled, will be 1. This also gets cancelled, that will be 1. This also gets cancelled, that is going to be 1. So that answer is going to be 1. For this one, you will write your 5 is to 2. For this part also, you are going to write 5 is to 2. And this case the same. So for this one, you will write 2 into 5. 
whole bracket here and then 3 this remains the same so for this part you will write here 5 is to 4 into x is to 9 so 2 is to 3 into 5 is to 3 and this will be x is to 5 now you can see here this part so that will be 5 is to 4 minus 3 and for this one you will write here 5 is to 9 minus 5 and this is going to be 2 is to 3 so this will be 5 and this is going to be x is to 4 and this part will be 2 is to 3 will be 8 now here they said find x if 2 is to x is 32 so this will be as it is and you have to take the factors of 32 so 2 16s are, 2 8s are, 2 4s are, 2 2s are and 2 1s are. So we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 2 this to 5. So now the bases are the same. So the exponent should be x is going to be 5. Now for this one again if you take the factors of 243 we get 3 this to 5. We can see the factors of it because there is a number 3 over here. So it will go with 3. Again here the base is the same. So x should be 5. Same here, this is 4 is to x. So if you take the factors, I'll show for this one. 232, 216, 28, 2 4s are, 2 2s are, and 2 1s are. So what you can see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2 is to 6, but we have the base here 4. So let us make this also to 4. So it will be easier. So what we can do, we can make 3 groups of it. 2 to the 4, 2 to the 4 and 2 to the 4. So that will be 4 is to 3. Hope this is clear to you. So now the base is the same. So exponentially this will be x is 3. Now this is slightly different. So after looking at this, you might think how to solve this one. So now see x is to 8. So we can also write for this one 1 is to 8 because now this is an even number. So you know whenever there is an even number, even if it is 1 is to 6 this is an even number so it is always going to be 1 so we can write in this form first and then x is going to be because the exponents are same so this will be x is going to be 1 now for this part 5 is to x is 625 so again you will take the factors of 625 that is going to be 5 5s are and 5 1s are so 4 times 5, so 5 is to 4, so the base is the same, so x is going to be 4. Now here, what you can see, there is an equal to sign, so this is the left side, this is the right side. So bases are the same and there is a division, so 11 is to 9 minus 4, this is the same. So now this will be 5, so now again both the sides, the base is the same, so what you can do, ignore the bases. So that is going to be 5 is equal to 5x. So this will be 5 divided by 5. So that is going to be x. So this will be 1. So x will be 1. So this into this one. A, this, this will be. This is a. And this also is a. And this is m. And this is n. Because the base is the same. So what we can write here. 2 by 7. Rest to 3 plus 2. You are going to add it. This stays the same. So now you can see both the places, the right and the left hand side, the base are the same. So, oh no, sorry for that. For that, here we can first we have to add it. 3 plus 2, that is going to be 5. This stays the same. And now you can see the base is the same. So we are just going to concentrate on the exponent. So 5 is equal to 2x minus 1. So what you will do, minus 1, you will take on this side, that is going to be plus 1 is equal to 2x. So this is going to be 6 is equal to 2x. So 6 divided by 2. So equal to x, so 2 1s are, 2 3s are, so x is going to be 3. Now for this one, that is going to be minus, minus becomes plus, so this will be 35, 5 is to 35, so this will be 5, x minus 3, so this is going to be 35 is equal to x minus 3, so minus 3 will go on the other side, that is going to be plus 3, is going to be x, so this will be 38 is equal to x, so x will be 38. For this part, this will be minus 9 raised to here, minus 12 will be minus 9 raised to this will be 3x. So, this both the places it is the same. So, minus 12 will be 3x. So, minus 12, this will be divided by 3 is equal to x. So, 3 1s are, 3 4s are. So, x is going to be minus 4.
express each other following as a product of prime factors only in exponential form. So now what we can do, we can take the factors of 64. So we, we get 2 into 2, 6 times after taking factors. For if we take the factors of 243, that is going to be 3, 5 times. So that will be 2 raised to 6 into 3 raised to 5, which is, we have, we have kept that in the exponential form. Again, for this number, this is a big number. So I have already shown here with the factorization method. So you can see these are the factors of it. So how many times did you get 2? That is going to be here. 9 times 2 and this will be 2 times 3 so 2 raised to 9 into 3 raised to 2 again for this these are the factors of it so this will be 2 raised to 2 and 5 raised to 4 simplify 1 plus 1 by 6 plus 2 by 3 raised to 2 so now you can see the denominator this is 6 and this is 3 so you will multiply this by 2 so this also should be by 2 so this will be 1 plus 4 divided by 6 raised to 2 which is going to be here 5 by 6 raised to 2 so 5 raised to 2 divided by 6 raised to 2 so which will be 25 by 36 again for year 1 that will be you are going to multiply by 2 and you have also by 2 minus 1 by 4 raised to 3 into this is going to be 64 so what will you write here 2 minus 1 by 4 raised to 3 into 64 so this is going to be 1 by 4 raised to 3 into 64. So this is going to be 1 by 64 into 64. So which is going to be 1. So 1 into 1 that is going to be 1. Again here 1 square will be 1. 2 square will be 4. And 3 square is going to be 9. So this bracket is here. Divided by minus 4 raised to 0. Anything raised to 0 is 1. So after solving this bracket we get minus 4 divided by 1, so minus 4 divided by 1, that is going to be minus 4. This is going to be 27, this is going to be 8, divided by 5 is to 3, that will be 125. For this one, it will be 19 divided by 125, so same thing, we can also write in this form, because 19 divided by 125. Now, which is larger, this part or this one? So, after solving this one, 32, and we have to put here 8 zeros, and here you will write your 4 and you are going to put 9 zeros. So definitely with 9 zeros that is going to be a. So this is the, this is going to be a. Because this will be 40 and this is 32. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is definitely going to be a bigger number. So 4 into 10 is to 9. For this one, from this one you can also check for this one. So this is the. This is larger. From this one you can check. So this is larger. Now you are going to solve for x. This is the left side. This is the right hand side. This keep as it is. This will be as it is. For this one we will take the factors of it. So 5 when you multiply 4 times you get 625. Now you can see here. This will be as it is. Here first thing what will you do? Base is the same. So you are going to add the exponent c plus 4 that is going to be 7. Base is the same. So 2x plus 1 is equal to 7. So here 2x will be 7 plus 1 will be minus 1. So 2x is going to be 6 or x is going to be 6 by 2 which is going to be 3. For this part it will be as it is. 32 will be 2 raised to 5 when you take the factors of it. So you can see the base is the same. So this x plus 1 is equal to 5. So x is going to be 5 minus 1 so x is going to be 4 this is the same this is the same so for 81 when you take the factors of it that is going to be 3 4 times so 3x is going to be at the base same so 2 plus 4 that is going to be 6 base same so x will be 6 again here this will be the same 49 will be 7 raised to 2 this will be 7 raised to 3 this is the same so this base is the same, so 3 plus 2, that is going to be 5. Here the base is the same, so 3x minus 1 is equal to 5. So 3x will be 5 plus 1. So 3x is going to be 6, so x will be 6 divided by 3, which is going to be 2. So by this one, we are completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel, so you get the notification of other parts. Thank you.